smoking. smoking. We Hello. back, baby, on another episode of <laughs> Is It Smoking? Today we got a you know a bit we of a got, crowd, but we, we got, got some crowd. shit to talk about. We so we wanted to make sure we came correct. <laughs> we got it said. She said. <laughs> Thank you, everybody that's been supporting, uh, following the Instagram, subscribing to the YouTube. Without y'all support, man, we ain't shit. But with your support, you know we a little bit of some, man. And um, I, I I put my money on us. So uh, let's get started. Who who we got in the building here today? Yeah yeah yeah. This is Rob's right here. You know I've been smoking like my whole life, and I'm right here with John. Let's go, my, my boy. Guys, my this boy. is Folk <laughs> Kid right here. We got our special guest. Tree God. What's popping with you, man? Five Star MG. They call me the Tree God. I'm from the Bay Area. I got a lot to talk about, but we're going to hold it all. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. You know, what's up? Just touch down in Cali. BZ. Right now, smoking it down. Hey, right. bro. Big juice cup. Chilling. Let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all know what it is. Directed by Della Paz. Who's, who's this? Yes, who's this? Sir. That's Ernesto. I know yeah. Brad. You heard? All the way from New York. You heard? I'm in Cali. Just yeah. All right, you know? Yeah. 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 Let's get it. So, yo, besides, besides getting into all the good weed game we about to talk about, what are we smoking look, on? Look, look, just before, I, I'm, I'm hyped, dog. We smoking on some crazy <laughs> shit today. We need, we can't even light this shit up because we don't got a torch, so it's on its way. It's on its way, so we're going to light this up. What is this? Actually, so, let them so know. basically, I rolled this. I rolled, I rolled tie sticks. I don't do no molds. So, like, a lot of people got, uh, like, these molds that you could do. You mold you the could, weed, right? You can only do it one size when you got a mold. That's that, That's cheating. You feel me? I could do it any size because I really know how to do he it. He said that's cheating. I could do an ounce. I could do a pound. I could do four pounds if I really wanted to. You know what I'm saying? I really do this shit. Um, this is, like I said, it's a tie stick. This is uh, basically, like... Weed and wax cured onto this stick that's been tied hella super tight, so everything comes into one. The longer that it stays on the stick and cures, the better it's gonna be. It's like wine, basically. You feel it's me? like wine. Yeah. 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 This shit, this shit been cured for five so, months. So this motherfucker right here got like ten grams of flour on it. I got it on my Instagram. What, what, what actually? I think it's Master Kush, but it got ten grams of, of flour and like thirteen grams of wax, and not even, it's not all the same wax. It's like like seven grams of um, this one batter. It's all in my phone, all do- uh, like because I document everything that I put on each stick. So but uh, but this motherfucker will smoke for like bro five hours, like four or five hours. Hey, hey, even, between, hey even between us all, like uh, between us all, if we all hit it, it's, it's a hell of a motherfucker. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, well look, when you bring a tie stick to, is it smoking? Yeah. You gonna need a little yeah, fucking yeah. bug. Yeah, yeah, we need lunch. We need lunch. Cause dog, if it was just me, you and Ernesto. <laughs> I'm telling you, we would have been. I would have been out the first hit. Yeah, now nah, this first motherfucker hit. with all of us right here. This probably a smoke for a good two hours, about an hour and a half. You two feel me? Hours. Like if everybody's just puffing on it. That's like a movie. Bro, 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 bro. This is my, this my first time ever even hearing yeah. about it, seeing the tasso. It's, it's been definitely. Okay, so the, just to give, game. yeah, yeah. So okay, so just to give everybody a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, education on it. The first person that was uh, the tie stick's been around for a long time, but they caught it was different way back in the days. It was actually like a weed, like weed, and they would just tie it on a stick and sell it like that. So that's why they called it tie stick, like like Cheech and Chong days. Yeah. Then it evolved into yeah. then it evolved into hey, this. I need to smoke that. I need but to smoke then, that. Then it evolved into this, which um, was really kind of made famous by um, this dude named that. Afgu Head. And Afgu Head, he was the one that taught me I and Wax Coast Connection I how to do this it. shit. So. Afgu head, he's like this guru. He was making, bro, making these sticks, and I, I actually bought the last stick from the the Honey Pot. It was a, a club called the Honey Pot, and I bought his last stick that he had in production, and I paid like six hundred bucks for that bitch, and I Damn. kept it for like two years. I yeah, but if I would have, if I would have kept it, bro, and I could have sold that motherfucker for. Thirty five hundred, four thousand dollars, easy, bro. Because he's not he. He basically he, he don't left. no more. He he don't do it no more. He yeah. basically you know what he did. He, he's like he's like one of these like crazy hippies. He said he moved to the jungle and he's a time, he he wants to be a time traveler now. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> and he was making hella bread off that shit and nobody's ever seen him since. That's some faded shit though. Yeah. 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 He 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 no, no, he's not. Yeah. Hell no. Not not for himself. Himself. I mean, I don't know. For no. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, how, did, how did you get involved with this? What made you want to start yeah, doing this? Like, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm a type of motherfucker that like I can I, I try to stay ten steps ahead of everybody in this cannabis game. I mean, I, some people know me, but uh, you know what I'm saying. But a lot of people know. Like what I've done in this cannabis industry. Like I was the first person. I I, I invented THC syrup. I was the first person that ever put THC syrup on the map, and that's a fact. 
And uh, my, my THC serve was called Green Lean. But at the time when I came out with it, um, you know, that was at a time where you could just go into cannabis clubs and be like, hey, I got a dope product. You want to you want to play some orders. Right. So, you know, that was that was amazing. That was an amazing time. You feel me? And so um, I made a lot of money off that shit. And but then I just started to hate it in the cannabis community, bro, because the cannabis community will get on your Instagram at that, especially at that time. They still do it to this day. And there will be people that don't do shit. Don't like, they don't hustle. They don't do nothing, but they just got something to say about, you know, social media. Right. And so it just started, uh, it, it, I just hated the cannabis. I just didn't want to be involved in that. So I started basically uh, making it for bigger companies. Like, um, I don't know if you, like, you know, Dr. Zodiac, His uh, I can say it now. But at the time, I was making Dr. Zodiac's um, syrup, the moonwalk. So I was making that syrup for him, and then I was making some syrup for some other companies in Canada and a couple of other little companies. So I didn't have to be on them. I didn't have to be out there like, oh, buy my syrup, buy my syrup. I was selling five gallon buckets, like like orders of like um, they'd be like, let me get eighty five gallon buckets of syrup. You feel me? Damn. And, and each five bu- gallons of bucket, bro. And each gallon, each one, each five gallon bucket, I was selling for like shit. I want to say. It came up to like seventeen hundred uh, 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 for a five gallon yeah. bucket. Yeah, oh, lean, oh, I was lean. making a lot of money. I made oh, a lot of money. TFC lean. TFC sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, well, one thing I like about you, you, yeah. you don't mind coming up with an idea, manufacturing, putting it together, nah. and then going hard. I go hard, bro. I don't like wait for nobody. I don't got time. I don't like if I come up with an idea. Like for instance, how I came up with the green lean idea. It was because um, at that time, that's when everybody was having boxes of activists, like real sir. Right. And, and so uh, I was dealing with this person that worked at a, a farmer's, like at a, at a hospital, and I was like, man, how can I get these fucking bottles? And they were like, you know what? I think what they're doing is they're going and getting it, um, you know, in like San Diego, messing with like, you know, getting, getting the scripts out there from, you know, these like yeah, the, the, the Mexican, to the Mexican the actors to get the drink. You feel me? So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The essays, you got to go to the, you know, at the end of the day, you got to come fuck with the essays to get the money. You feel me? So motherfucking, um, I was looking. I always carry a um, a styrofoam cup with water. With, I always got water with me at all times. And I looked at my styrofoam cup, and there was a piece of weed floating in my cup. And I just, <coughs> man, I just came up with the motherfucking best idea in the world. And I called this guy that I knew that made edibles for years. And I was like, hey, what kind of syrup can I, can I medicate? Can we infuse with um, cannabis? And he just, bruh. You about to be a millionaire, bro. That's a fucking. Yeah. You're a genius, bro. He was like, I'll have it ready for you in like three days. And at the time, so, everybody was sipping heavy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What so, time was this? Yeah. Like, uh, what? shit. This was the bro. Now, that was probably like thirteen, about damn near twelve years ago. Yeah. I remember yeah. when you. Talk I remember when you had it. Like, that was like twelve, yeah. thirteen years ago. Yeah, yeah. I had it in weed jars. And this is another thing yeah, I'll tell bro. you. I'll tell you another thing. He knows that this is true. Yeah. I was the first person to put weed in jars, bro. When I brought weed to, in jars out to, because I was bringing good weed from the bay and bringing them to the cannabis clubs out here. They were like, how are they going to smell the weed? They'll never buy weed in the jars. I was like, trust me. They're going to see the weed in the jar and they're going to be like, that's special and I want that weed. You can see it hella good. It's keeping the crystal. They were like, they'll never buy weed in jars. And now look at today. Yo, so... Yo, <laughs> this was back in like 2010, 2011, bro. 2012. So, hold up, bro. When did it all start? We got we to gotta roll this shit up. I know there's a lot of us out here. So, 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 so basically... Hey, but yeah, spark that shit up. I'm so yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this is the last enjoy that I rolled. Hey, this is hey, hey, by this is yeah, this right here yeah, by fucking cool. big homie juice cup, Yo, big juice cup right you, there. You grew this when we smoking yeah. already? Right Tell us a little bit about that, bro. How long you been growing for? Uh, probably like three years. Fire, bro. This shit look good. But, uh, this, this this look like you been growing for. It look gas, bro. It's a candy. candy cut, pretty much. It's a good Dice candy cut. cut. Dice fire, the motherfucker. Yeah. And you rolled it, bro. I seen you roll nah, that. You rolled it crazy. Yo, yeah. this hey, podcast, you good roller, we were supposed good to roller, film. Good roller, fire smoke. We were supposed to film this podcast at the Rainbow Restaurant. Shout out to the owner of that, man. Rest in peace to your father, bro. We were trying to film it today, but your dad died, so we couldn't even ask for permission because you wasn't there. And then after that, what was the other restaurant we went to? Uh, we went to The Woods. Shout out to The Woods. My boy was trying to put us on game, but they was acting a little bougie there. So they shout out to DJ Let Him Fucking Know for yeah. letting us come through and host another episode yeah. Yeah. of yeah. Is This Fucking Smoking? Hey, DJ always bah, bah, looking bah. out for Is This Smoking, so big out, big shout out to DJ. Yes, that's sir. That's show. So that's, what, so that's what we smoking on, rolled by you. And now let's get back to your story, bro. Okay, so... What's uh, the first time you you smoke before we even uh, the first time I smoked weed man oh I need to hear was this. probably when I was like I, don't know, I was probably high like, school 
middle uh, school. Middle kid. school. Yeah, middle school. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that was middle school. I was in probably like seventh grade. I was probably, I think I was like 13. <laughs> 13, 12, 13, you know what I'm saying? What, what was he smoking on? Uh, probably some brown weed. You feel me? It was for sure some brown weed. This is a big Yeah. Nah, he was real on this. Yeah, yeah. Some sure. brown weed, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Some brown weed, some brick weed. You feel me? Because back in the days, back in the days, my uncle, uh, I remember that he used to be like, like, like when my uncle's friend Preciato, this dude named Preciato, I'll never forget Preciato. He used to be like, hey, when Preciado comes, you guys got to go outside. Mm-hmm. And Presi- and we would go outside and sit outside and we would just see this little this little fat Mexican dude with a little cowboy hat yeah. come with just a big ass trash bags. And we would be like, what the fuck does Preciado got in them trash bags? You feel me? Well, we found he out. Got, he didn't have we no clothes in that shit. Nah, hell no. He didn't have no clothes. Nah, nah, nah. He had no so, uh, but yeah, we, we the first time I smoked it, it was for sure that and I was fucking... Uh, I remember I used to feel like I, I seen lines. I used to always, my because my cousin got us high. My girl cousin, she was like she would make me and my boy her her brother uh, smoke weed. He, and we used to fight. We used to I used to be like I already hit it. He'd be like no I already hit it. You know what I'm saying? And so but that was the first the first time I was like 13, 12, 13. And it was around yeah. weed and you were sure. there in Valerio. You said? Uh, yeah, that was that when I first smoked weed at that time. That was that was probably like, like I was in damn near Fairfield at that time. Hell yeah. But yeah, I'm from the I'm from the seven oh seven, I'm from Vallejo, Fairfield, Sassoon area. Oh yeah, I don't smoke these. He passed that. You feel me? I passed that. Hey, on is it smoking, we smoke no, anything, so cool. dog. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. If you don't if you ain't cool with it, you could pass it to me. Yeah. Shit. But he hey, he hey, he a paper he paper plays right here for yeah, sure. Yeah, for this, sure. This right here is uh, 1873 okay. and it's in a rubber a rubber uh, duck tail. I got those from my boy uh, Johnny Ray, Dominican Barber. Hey, that see, that shout, hey, shout out to Big Juice Cup with the he got some fire tree right now, bro. It's, y'all need some tree. How shit, you like you feel me? Shout yeah, out to right 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 He said, lie, "Can you explain what's what's in this hole?" Because oh, uh, <laughs> that's the one makes with the Let's talk about it. That, yeah, that's the one with the pressure labs. Shout out to <laughs> pressure labs. That's they pressure fuck it. Yup. Shout All out right. to the hash robbers, bro. All right. That's what it is, bro. That's a one hit quitter right there. Yeah. That shit one time. Shout out to right. Pressure Live with the You're fucking. Like, yeah, with the way they be having the Z Force. What was the other shit called? The uh, Great, the Man, the Grape. Yeah, Grape Delorean. All right, all right. Shit, said it right? Oh. Like this right here. Yo, yeah, let me hit that shit. That's, that shit got a little. I need to hit that. I need to hit that. You didn't hit this? Well, you gotta wait when it comes this way, my boy. You gotta relax, my boy. My boy, I'm gonna try to skip me to hit that. I call that. I call that a little whale. Cause damn, this is a dude that like that. Hey, rubber tip, right? This is weird. Let me try gelato with the Z Force. Damn, this shit tastes hella good. Who the fuck rolled this? I think it was me, but I think you said you rolled it. I did roll it. Nah, I'm just fucking. All right, all right. So let's let's okay, stay on, let's stay on track. So what was we talking about? So we're talking about that. <laughs> you were you were just talking about how you were from Fairfield and mm. how you started the first tea. time. First time you were smoking. First I got two. So you know how they. So um, so then uh, fast forward. Uh, so basically, a uh, long story short, my brother. I said that way. <laughs> my brother had owned has owned. This is how I got in the game. I'm gonna tell you how I got in the game. So my brother. <laughs> Um, is uh like my brother's probably like 50, 55, 55, damn near sixty. He was all that right now. But he was a, he had a, he had a, him and his friend had a um, a hydroponic store way before when people used to be scared to go in hydroponic stores. You know what I'm saying? Like way back in the day. So when I was like fifteen, when uh, my brother used to do this, my brother used to be like, "Hey, let me you got a garage? Let me put um let me put this closet in your garage, and I'm gonna put these plants in it, and I'll give you a little bit of money for it." You know what I'm saying? So he would put pl- these um, basically like a studio booth, like a mic booth in each in everybody's um, garage, and make you grow. He'll make all his friends grow, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when I was 15, I used to just like he used to make me like tend to all the plants. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. And so then I, I did that with him all the time since I was like 15. And then he then I had my own store. I had a clothing store in Concord. And then after I was done with that clothing store in Concord, he was like, hey. Come um, run this other store in Vallejo for me because I got another hydro store. So we had the biggest hydroponic store in Solano County. It was like ten thousand square feet. So this was way back in the day. So like like there's a lot of companies that are big companies now that like we're the ones that were started them because they had to come get all the nutrients from us. You know what I'm saying? Like if you heard of like Mid Mid Zodics, Mid Zodics, yeah, I heard of them. Lumpy Status and all them. Um, 
all them fools came through us first. That's so crazy. I knew them oh, for shit. from the from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Lumpy's still out there, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lumpy's still there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm over here. Yo, I know. <laughs> it's it. When you talk, it sounds like it's him talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here. Yo, so yeah. what, what happened and what, what brought you to that? <laughs> yeah, so what, what brought me to that? Hey. Is um and to be honest with you, what brought me to LA was um, the the paper. syrup, yeah, the, the syrup. When I hey, um, papers and filters, can you grab them? When I did the uh, when I made the syrup, I was bringing all the syrup hey, out here. And, right and, there. What and, should you fuck uh, with? Taking them to all the uh, all the cannabis clubs out here in LA. Papers and filters. And then um, it just uh, huh. it just motherfucking turned into like I was like, man, bro, it's just too much opportunity out here. And motherfuckers out here, I felt like wasn't using their um. Uh, utilizing the opportunities out here right way right. because this is the thing about LA once you come out here you always feel like oh damn it's it's so much opportunity and so much but when you live out here you start to get in this mode where you don't take advantage of everything around you because you think it's just you it's just accessible it. it's just accessible it. yeah but this is the thing this is the only place in America where you can fucking go to a bar at nighttime and talk to somebody and they can change your life overnight. Facts. You feel me? Like, you can go, you can be in, like, somewhere else. Like, I could be in the Bay Area and go to a bar at nighttime and I'm just going to be talking to a motherfucker. No, a motherfucker that does construction or something. Yeah, so you talk, you out here, you, t- you fuck around and talk to somebody, just open your mouth and talk to somebody and they'll be like, oh, oh, well, we make movies and da-da-da-da. We do this, this, and this. Why don't you call me tomorrow? Well, guess what I do? I write your phone number down immediately and I'm calling you right when you wake up in the morning. So you don't forget my ass, you feel me? So um, I said the, the, the networking out here is just fucking insane, and I've it. I've made so many fucking different moves, and so now I got a new product. I did, I, I wasn't able to bring it today because um, I didn't know you know short short um, uh, minute coming with, to your guys' podcast, but um, I got a new product that I got patented. <laughs> I got this patented, what is and it's it? called uh, it's this. called the airliner flight. Oh, and so I the airliner flight is a is a is a, a basically a liner that goes on the inside of your backwood, the inside or the inside of your joint or whatever you roll up, and it basically creates a um, it sticks <coughs> it sticks in the middle of your backwood in the back of your backwood, and you roll it up, and it basically creates a layer of wax around your um, uh, weed, so your weed will burn slower and stronger. That's amazing. Yeah, and it tastes hella fucking good. And what's bro. the name of that? I've, brand? I've tried them before. They're actually the legit. Brand, my brand, my brand is Loud Smoke Baked Good. It's on a paper. That's Loud Smoke Baked Good. That's what LS is. It's on a paper. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and and people go crazy for them. You know what I'm saying? But this is the thing, and this is what it's crazy that I'm on this podcast today because I just literally got um, distribution and got all my shit. So all my Shit's gonna be in storage right now. Like everything, all my new products are gonna be in storage. That's, that's, what's up. that's why that, the, bro. The, the lady that right. you guys met. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. She, so she's my business partner, and man, uh, bro, ever since I met her, bro, like. Shit, shit just happens. I don't have to do anything. I just say my ideas, and she gets it. Everything gets legalized. Everything gets uh, ready to go. She puts there all of uh, makes everything makes everything roll. I just now I'm just basically shooting out ideas, and we're killing the game. And so we're coming. We're starting with this hot sauce. I also have a medicated <laughs> hot sauce that I invented called Hot Boy Hot Sauce. And Hot Boy Hot Sauce, it's it, it's actually fucking tastes good. And not even not just because it's medicated. It actually fucking tastes good. That's you tell me. Yeah. yeah. Like, Yo, for sure. Let them know about the show that you have too, where you go um, and eat that fire. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. So, oh, so yeah, just yeah. in case you don't know, I mean, I do so much shit on paper. It sounds crazy, but um, so I got a show called uh, I got a I got a Instagram called Let's Get High and Eat. You so you can go go to that. I'm pretty sure they'll put it up here. Let's Get High and Eat. It's all spelled out the way that it sounds. Um, and basically, even before I fucking did that shit, all my homeboys always called me. I'm the, always the one that motherfuckers call and be like, hey, where should I go eat with my chick? Or where should I go eat out here? What's good out here to eat? You know what I'm saying? And I always know different, like, good-ass little spots that you can take your chick or, you know what I'm saying? So Just go by you yourself. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's get high. Let's get, let's high, get and high and eat. Yeah, so, so, but by my show, the show that I got is called Foodie Call. And Foodie Call is basically where I take, like, um, a guest, uh, whether it be a comedian, an actor, just anybody that's doing something dope. I take them to, like, uh, a restaurant that they ain't never tried or we go to a restaurant that they really like that I ain't never tried. Or we might just pick a restaurant that we both never tried. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, basically, we go and it's like an interview thing. It's about the food. And it's also going to be a cooking segment, you know what I'm saying, where, where we actually cook. You know what I'm saying? Or <coughs> they actually cook. It's just, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be basically be basically really about food and, and weed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's dope. 
know what I'm saying? Because those are my two favorite things. Yeah, yeah. motherfuckers get high too and want to know what the fuck <coughs> did it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you got any uh, strains or, because I know you mentioned when you was younger, you was growing and taking care of your other brother's spot. Do you yeah. got any, any weed we should be on the lookout for besides the show? <coughs> yeah, um, one weed that everybody should be on the lookout, and it's not like, it's not mine or anything, but it's making a big name right now is that Donnie Burger. Donnie Have you guys heard of Donnie yeah, Burger? Yeah, you guys ever? Yeah, yeah, the rosin, the 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 yeah. extracts. That's what I had. Donnie first Burger. was the Donnie oh, Burger extract. Yeah. Then I had the Pretty actual flour. I, I was like, damn, this yeah, is it's a GMO. Yeah. I know. Uh, it's I feel like it's, we're, we're it is, dog. Yeah, trust yeah, me, yeah, it yeah. is. I feel like I feel like it's a, um, a like some type of weird OG cookie. Like it's like almost like a cookie OG. But bro, that shit. I don't know. It's called Donnie Burger. Yeah, that's like a straight to watch out for right now. Yeah, but but the but the extracts on the Donnie Burger, that shit is crazy, bro. I can't wait for that food to come. Or that's some shit. Oh yeah, shout out to the Dominicans, Chef Cruz. He's gonna be uh, providing some food for us over here doing the interview today. You know, we waiting on that. My plane, my phone's on airplane mode, so yo DJ put it out there. So we're gonna go grab him right now, actually. So shout out the I Dominicans. Are we getting the uh, torch? Add them on Instagram. Order some food. The Dominicans. Are we getting that torch? Though? Sure. Yeah, no, we saw some food on the torch. We gotta try the torch. That shit, yeah. That shit looks good. Shit, if we have to do a fucking, you know, a break in the middle to smoke this shit and go get a torch, shit, we shit. We just might have to. It might have to, dog. Yo, so um. After you come from Valerio down this to LA, Valerio, oh, Valerio, you know, like you said Valencia. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 you know, like Valencia. Valencia. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Valerio, it's, uh, it's hella. Oh no, Valerio, yeah. yeah Valerio. Oh, yeah, get this respect. The Pat, the Pat. And you want to know something that's funny? I thought Valerio is that. They're not say that actually not from Valerio. Can they say Valerio? That's what they say, right? Yeah, Valerio. Yeah, yeah. But you said the pack. Yeah. They're not from Vallejo. They're from Berkeley. But you want to know it's hella fucking funny that you say that? Yeah. I was the fir- I was the first person that pressed up their CDs. No. But, oh God! Look, so my partner Mike, my man, my my homeboy Mike uh, Merther, this motherfucker, he passed away. He was like this older dude, and he, he, and he was like. Uh, he was like, because it was fucked up. It's <laughs> fucked up how he died. It's R- fucked R- up how he died. But I'm saying, why you saying like that? Because it was fucked up how he died. Because he died. Um, like trying to like uh, defend some bitch that didn't oh, need to be shit. defended and oh, fucking got oh, killed. You feel me? Oh. Somebody stabbed him. You feel me? And he was he was but a cool ass motherfucker. He was a hero, dog. So he was uh, a. <laughs> he wanted to be a hero. That's some so, shit. Uh, this motherfucker, um, he was like, "Hey man, can you press up my?" Because I used to do music back in the days, and he was like, "Can you press up my little homeboy? They're just come about to come out." Da, 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 da. And I was like, "Wolf Pack." I was like, "They were called the Wolf Pack at first. Mm. So I was like, "Wolf Pack." I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "I ain't tripping. I press it up." <laughs> And I remember I was going to the, I was I was bringing them their CDs, you know what I'm saying? Bringing them their CDs, and I was like, I didn't even listen to it, you feel me? Cause people, yeah, because people used to always, I used to press up people's CDs for them, you know what I'm saying? Well, the fact they didn't so, listen to your shit. Yeah, but yeah, back, yeah, for sure I didn't. I'll tell, tell, tell them, you know what I'm saying? I didn't listen to none of that shit. And so, uh, <laughs> it was the other people said that I didn't listen to none of that shit, you feel me? So, anyways, uh, yeah, it was a business, yeah. So, uh. I'm going to, and taking them to the thing, and I, all of a sudden I heard that Van song come on the radio, and I was like... <laughs> it's called Vans. I was like, maybe that's just like a uh, that's yeah. like these little young motherfuckers because they're younger than me. You know, I was like, maybe this is something these little young motherfuckers is on Vans. Right? I don't know what the fuck. And come to find out, it was they saw. It. I was like, yeah. damn, they done fucked around and really blew up. I thought it was just some bullshit. Wolf Pack. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I thought the Wolf Pack was about to blow up. You feel it me? It was called the Pack, no? Yeah. They were called no, but at, at that time when they first came out, they were called the Wolf Pack. That's what they were called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they started. You're talking about that one. Va- got my the Vans on. Oh, we got this like, torch. Yeah. Hey, torch that shit up, man. Shout out DJ fucking Let's yeah. go, nigga. Let's go. Yeah, we got the Dominican food though. Hey, but they have it. Head. They have I need it. I need it. Yo, <laughs> is this a cooking show or a smoking show, man? Yeah, both. <laughs> Shit, he, he was just saying he went foodie call. Dog. Yeah. Yeah. We got a foodie yeah. call today, boy. All I know, bro, I haven't seen nothing like this. And the homie said this shit's been curing for five months. Dog, like that been shit. Cooking, like I don't know if it's going to light. We, we down there need some more butane. Both no. of them? I don't know. This is food. This is food. Hold on. So you take it, make it hurt? No, my nigga got the lighter. This shit got it, bro. This see. like a motherfucking set, light Oh, nigga, there you go. Both of them, both here. Look, hold that shit, and I'll be like this. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out, dog. Yo, but we'll feel do this shit. We, we gotta do this shit. That's okay. epic, bro. Well, yo, so tell us more about that shit turn for, fi- for five Look, months, bro. Hey, this shit can't light up? Yo, hold up. You yo. gonna ravel in it? Yeah, you, got, you thought you were gonna smoke the string? Yo, <laughs> yeah, it's lighting, bro. We're so, bro, so you're right. Right. We're, unraveling we're unraveling it. We're unraveling like a president. <laughs> it's, it's and then you take the stick out. You unravel it first. 
Hey, yeah. show the camera though. Show the camera that. Boom. You gotta unravel it. They don't know what we smoking. Yeah, I don't know. Take, 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 take Hey, the, hey, let them show it to the camera. You think you can see from it? I already got a close up of it, gang. Oh, don't hell worry yeah. about it. Let them let, do what they gotta do. Let's mm-hmm. do it. Let's do it. Damn, that shit looks epic, bro. The craftsmanship. Boom. Take That's this art, off bro. like this. That's the art right there. That's the art of rolling right there. Straight up. This is like a baby. You thought that other shit was hitting? You pull the stick out. You see me pull the stick out? There you go. And then now it's just a mummy finger. Yes. Whoa. It's like a mummy finger. <laughs> oh, I'm about to do it. No, 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 just give it, let me get one. I gotta, I gotta hit that. This shit still feel wet, nigga. Yeah. 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 Whatever was in there is still wet. Look at that shit. Wet wax. Ooh. You got it with what? Sure. All right. Yeah, let's go, baby. This shit crazy. Yo, tell us more about this shit, bro. All right, so this motherfucker got hella, he got, he got hella, he got flour and hella wax. I mean, hey, 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 so I, don't, hey. I, I don't know what it is. I don't remember the wax, all the wax, all the different waxes that are on it. I'll uh, tell you this much, bro. <laughs> hey, you think we smoking that shit in that store? But it is, but it's all so recorded on my Instagram. So if you follow my Instagram, I'm sure they'll put it down shit. here. Uh, follow my Instagram, yeah, we five eat. star. Yeah, we'll sure you guys. And uh, you'll see all the ingredients, everything that went on this tie stick. We go see if it's smoking, man. Someone gonna tap out today. <laughs> Yo, did you? You already knew how to roll these before out. you came down from the Bay game. Look yeah. at me. I don't even want to say yeah. Valerio no more. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I already. Yeah. I've been on how to roll these for hell long. <laughs> Valerio, this Valerio. <laughs> they gonna be cracking up. <laughs> That's called a Valerio. Bro, <laughs> what, the gas <laughs> the Valerio. And bro, what got you hooked on this? Tell, tell us about the first time you smoked on these, bro. Oh man, shit. what made you want to roll these shits up? Yeah, like, like, to be still, to just be ten steps ahead of everybody. Hey, you are. You're twenty yeah, steps and shit. Ain't hey, no one. I already know. I'm gonna keep it. Real with you like even like rolling everything anything that you can roll like you know how people be rolling like like shape like they'll like make yeah. an airplane or something I you can do that? that hell yeah I can no do way. I'm, have, I'm gonna have you roll me a base nah but I won't do it I'm gonna tell you why why, why? Wow, because it, it, it has to be a, it has to be a blunt it has to be a oh so you don't roll blunts yeah. hell no nah, I ain't about to lick that shit yeah. you don't how long does it have to how long do you take rolling uh for what an airplane uh depends on um uh, uh, it depends on how big it is, you know what I'm saying? It probably what? Be smoking that shit the whole I can tell y'all want an airplane this big. Yeah, give me like two Give me anything, I can make it. Say, Damn, bro. Yeah. That's what we should do that. Yo, shout out to your brand. Shout out hey, to your. Uh, hey, you let them know. Hey, let them know where you're gonna. Where are we doing that event on Friday? You see oh, that my, so, so oh. anyway, so this is another thing. <laughs> yeah, we need to. We so need I, to I, also, I also motherfucking. I also. Uh, throw comedy events. I throw four twenty friendly comedy events. Um, uh, my my company that I do that with is called Five Stars Green Room. And this Friday, I got a show. And all my comedian, all the comedians that I fuck with are hella fucking funny. This the my 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 business partner in my in my comedy business is uh, uh, CP. He and he's like a funny ass comedian. I don't know if you guys ever watched the Roast Me Battles, but if you watch the Roast Me Battles, he's like one of the main ones. That's hella funny on there. Um, he's on hella shows on HBO. He's on the Detroiters. I don't know if you ever seen the Detroiters, but uh, but everybody, all the com- comedians that I got coming, I mean, hella funny. They all carry, they all carry a show. So there, so each comedian is gonna be funny as fuck. It's not gonna be. I don't have shows to where a comedian goes up and they're okay. because I because I, I pick them out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so I got like last night. I was just at the. I was just at a show. Um, I'm always recruiting comedians. You know what I'm saying? Yo, and, and then and then what I do it's is cool how people can smoke there. Like that's yeah, not exactly. normal, bro. Hey, like, hey, for example, hey, today hey. we try to go to two restaurants and do the podcast and smoke yeah. and yeah. eat. Hey, hold it and though. they were like, "Yo, none." So you're, it's cool that you're actually throwing an event this Friday and you can smoke there. And hey, I want to have an audition. I need show. an audition for Ernesto. He said he wanted to be a comedian, so. Let's get it, bro. This might be it right here. You should give it a try, Ernesto. Hell yeah, I'm going to pull up faded, nigga. This nigga is yeah. funny as fuck, Hell dog. Yeah. You know I'm going to get everybody, everybody going to laugh at You know what? Bro. I'm going to give out so much weed, bro. You I know you'll you kill that shit, bro. You've been saying that you should try it out. Hey, I think you'd kill it, Law of attraction, bro. Anything I think about just comes to me, bro. That's what it is, bro. My whole thing is this. You know, everybody, if every, this is the thing. If everybody can think of an idea and make it happen, 
and, and it was that and it was that easy. This is the thing. This was weird to me. It is easy for it's me. Easy as fuck. But some but people make it hard on themselves. You might, you know the most the the number one thing that where people fail is be getting in the way of themselves. You get in the way of yourself by saying you can't do it, don't or it's gonna be. Yourself. But just think, of, always, always know this. This is like one. This is just some game from an older <laughs> motherfucker to some younger motherfuckers. It's always gonna be hoops and hurdles. There's always gonna be hoops and hurdles. But once you get over them hoops and hurdles, bro, you gonna be winning, bro. Hey, bro, I got a question for you, bro. Yeah. First, from somebody that got a good okay. idea, and then I got a bunch of older people that always around, and they, and they always like, yo, bro, let's do this. We gonna do that. Look, sometimes. I've learned, bro, not even understanding the contract was really trying to happen and all that. It don't even, it don't even matter at the front. As long as you down the ride and the niggas see yeah. that, that in itself plays a key part, bro. Because uh, yeah. they already know not to even fuck you because they're like, damn, this nigga's really putting his heart yeah. in it and he's trusting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my question is, do you think that's the right way to go about it? Hell like, yeah, for sure. Because like you said, there's always hurdles. So yeah. what? You go go make a good business deal, but now you got to handle hurdles by yourself. Yeah, 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 but exactly. when you don't know what's to come, you don't know what's around yeah, the corner, yeah, yeah. as a fucking team, you're stronger. This is so why thing. not just let somebody take fucking lead yeah, you and got understand he's going to make sure you, you got, it's a, it, what, what, what Being a good businessman comes, you got to you gotta get rid of your pride, bro. Yeah. You can't do everything yourself. There's no way in hell that people come up with these big empires, bro, by themselves. They don't do yeah, it by themselves. No Everybody got to play their position. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Everybody got to be okay with playing their position. Because yeah. some motherfuckers yeah, Robert, will get, get Robert upset because they feel like this person's trying to lead. But they're not trying to be a lead. They're not trying to lead. Sometimes... It gotta be a motherfucker that says, "Hey, come on, let's go this way, bro." Because if not, it's a bunch of undecisive ass motherfuckers <laughs> sitting around staring at each other. You feel me? Yeah. 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 No, yeah, but look at this. It's really about you going out your way and doing that. Because right now, if I got a team of players, right, and they're following my end, it's because I'm following someone else. So, for example, if you're going through these hurdles, you have these people above you. But as you have that, you're teaching now your players. And if you don't have the right players, that oh, yeah. how you say sure. play their part. And don't go fall, don't go do this, don't do that. They do exactly what you said. That's on point. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. Because here's I, the thing: I've, 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 I, I got like friends that I've had for all my life that I can never do business with. We can, yeah. we'll never, we'll never be able to do that. Either. But I still love them. That's my family. That's my brother. And I love them. But we just can't do business together. And I know, I know some people. I know some people that I barely know. That me and them will kill the fucking game because they're ready to ride and they're ready to they're ready to just bounce my my ideas. Boom, they're ready to go. Their ideas, boom, I'm ready to go, and we both just <laughs> help we, we push each other up. And not everybody's built like that, bro. Not facts. Not every because and if everybody was built like that, guess what? Everybody would be rich. Facts. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Facts. That is just not everybody's built like that. And this is another thing that you, that is really key is to know when to cut off a of cancer. Cause some motherfuckers is cancerous, bro. Facts. Some motherfuckers they is can cancer. The whole shit. Yeah, they'll, they'll just ruin everything, even with their vibe. Like right. if a motherfucker is like hella negative all the time, if somebody got something negative always to say, even if That's it's in crazy. a joking matter, Facts. like nigga, yeah. you can't be around me. Facts, you, bro. Bro. you gotta, gotta know what. You're not gonna kick it around me. Not this is the this is one thing. Yeah. yeah, one thing about me is this is one thing that I know that <laughs> I bring to the table. I love, I, man, he could contest to this. I'm the same person that you going to meet today. I'm going to be the same. I'm the same person that in, in 20 years, I'm still going to be the same person. And, and my arms are open to you. But if you don't fucking reciprocate it and fuck with me, then you going to get, I'm not fucking with you. You feel me? So that, I, I'm a bit of the same way. And the reason why I feel that we're that way is because we know what we bring to the table. So we don't mind kind of wearing our heart on our, on our sleeve and giving it all to you up front. Because we quick to analyze. Okay, you fucking up? Okay, you did that? Fuck it, let me take all this out. Yeah, you yeah, I'm not, But yeah. we're not the type to meet first and then be like, oh, let me see if he does good. Then give him a little. We're nah, not nah, like nah, that. Nah, but nah, the minute we meet, nigga, it's you get good. all my resources. <laughs> yeah. You get all my roller decks. You get it all, cool. nigga. Because that's the type of business man I am. But sometimes yeah. I, could, I could hurt you sometimes. Yeah, no, so that's the thing. I'm, it does. I, I look at it like this. This is, this is a good way to look at it. If you could, if you got a partner where you guys go to dinner and he's like, man, let me buy, I'm gonna buy dinner, and then the next time you go, you be like, I'm gonna buy dinner. If you got a friend that does that and you guys do that all the time, that's, that's the mother, cool. that's who you want to fuck with. Yeah. Those are the people you want to fuck Yo, that's with. That's some bro. advice you would give yeah. your children right there. Yeah. Yo, that's note that. If think think about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Don't let that fly over your head. That was key. Sometimes that shit is common sense. But it's not No, you're a good person. I'm a good person, dog. And if you got a whole team that does that, a whole team, and everybody's like, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, don't trip. Don't trip. I'm going to buy y'all both dinner today. Just, you know what I'm saying? This next time somebody gets, somebody pick up the next tab. Yeah, you know what I mean? Then that's that's when you know. That makes a crazy team. And the only reason I bring up these things is because you create you're creating a lot of different brands you're creating a lot of events you you got a lot of things going and i know it that shit don't come easy bro you gotta you cut you gotta you gotta have some skill to put these things together so oh, that should taste amazing i really wanted to get your opinion on that you feel yeah me? yeah oh wait say that again my bad no i was saying because when building something or when having a brand when putting shit together a lot of these little key factors of success Happen, you yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah. And like you said, some niggas don't get it sometimes, some do. So yeah. I really wanted to ask you because you have a lot of different brands, bro. You, you're somebody that's really, if I think about it, you you go to action. And you yeah, get it yeah, done. yeah, yeah. And bro, you, you making money like you you talking about being ten years, twenty years ahead of niggas. When you do that, you making money in other ways that other niggas can't even think about. Yeah, yeah. And in your in your whole run, <laughs> nigga, since you first started smoking till now. What do you say is probably one of your craziest runs? I know it's not, it wasn't just the the, the T, THC link. Well, I, I ain't gonna lie, keep it real with you. The THC serve was crazy. Bro, I, yeah, bro so man, I, 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 was I was killing, I was killing the game, bro. I was killing the game. After, I mean. I got, I got a look. I got. It was for sure some other things that I've ran with uh, way better than that, but that you, you can't talk about. <laughs> right, you feel right, me? Right, but, right. but at for for sure, like that fucking THC syrup, that shit. Um, it bought me a lot of. I spent, I spent, I spent that money wisely. Just put oh, it like that. You, you feel me? I, I didn't. I, I, that was that. That was money that I didn't. Um, I didn't just fuck it off. You feel hey, me? This is a real, hey, this is a real yeah, witch yeah, finger yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that shit ain't no punk right there. But no, like yeah. literally a finger though. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. It's that like a, it's like evil. a zombie. This shit like hit. Finger. This shit. He hit. said a mummy finger. Yeah. earlier. I was like, Ugh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. witch <laughs> finger. Hey, how many months is that for? Hey, no, but what kind of nigga does that? What kind of nigga rolls some crazy shit and then at the end, yeah, at the end, be like, see you in five months. And the cool part about it is, and the cool part about it is, I done brought that out hell of times and flossed it in front of motherfuckers. They be like, hey, you say you did a bit, hey, hey, yeah, I be pulling that, I pull that out and floss that all motherfuckers, especially at the events. He you didn't know, bring his uh, air what were they called? Air flyers. Uh, airliner flyer. Air, but yeah. he brought this and this shit. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, it's smoking. There's no review. This shit is smoking. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's different. That's different. Yeah. I don't even want to pass it though. That's different. That right there. But see how it's burning like charcoal briquettes. You see how I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you can't just light it because because like I tell you, okay, just for the cameras too and for the people. Uh, when you smoke a, like a regular joint, like, like when you're smoking a joint like him, you do uh, the, the, the airflow is going. Blood. The airflow is going through the flower. You don't even when you're smoking that, that you all know, that you know, weed is compacted it's so it's tight you, that um, the airflow is just going through that hole. It's like a so cigar. It's going through just that hole. You feel me? It's not going through the weed. Yeah. So that yeah. that that charcoal briquette is just burning fire, flame and burning smoke. And the wow. smoke, but when you inhale, the, all that smoke from that charcoal briquette is going into the, the in that hole. Oh my exactly. god, bro. That's yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. 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 What's that? Like not ashing it, let the ash get like a little bigger. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't ash it. Yeah. Yeah, they say when you get like a bigger ash, the temperature will get like higher. Oh I, I, no, I'm not like, yeah. with the hash holes and shit. Yeah, yeah. God damn bro. How you feel? Cause it's coming our way. It's coming our way. Listen. Tell us about your experience with weed, bro. Yeah, like, you from New York, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Here, yeah. Yeah. You just oh, like, what I'm the just, fuck? You see, I'm, quite, I'm really just taking it all in. Because, look, this is all knowledge and history. You feel me? I'm, mm-hmm. I'm taking it. You feel me? This is a whole legend. It's all legendary vibes right now. Bro. Oh, you already know. Yeah, That's how it is in this little... Yeah. Hey, we got to get this a name. We got to give this a name right here. We need a... Yeah, it's called, vibe. is it smoking? No. The, <laughs> is it smoking oh. room? Is it smoking? The room. What is this room nah, called, though? Nah, nah. This is legendary. You know, you know how the Avengers have like a headquarters. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. You over here, like you tripping? I'm like, also, oh, that's her name, so, but you feel me? Like, that's like, but what, like, what's this what shit called? Fuck, 
<laughs> this shit could <laughs> like, hey, like how we just say, he's like, this is legendary. <laughs> dog. Here is, dog. Legendary shit's gonna be happening here, dog, lately. That's what I'm trying to say. There's legendary shit happening in here every day. Look, they're hitting a tie stick, dog. Yeah. <laughs> that tie stick is crazy, bro. Nah, yeah, that shit oh, is crazy. I think that shit got the whole podcast just like waiting. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the first time he's hitting a, a, someone from New York is hitting a dice. So what do you what do you think about that? Listen, yeah. wow, this shit hit. I ain't gonna lie. Yes, and I and I and I did a little. <coughs> I did a little one two. You feel me? This is this is the five. I see why. Waited. Yeah, you feel me? I see why. <laughs> so the longer you wait, the better it gets too. What? Yeah, that should be it's like white. No, you said. Yeah, because that wax just keeps on getting into the weed. That as as it gets cold and warm, you know what I'm saying? When you leave it in like room temperature, if it gets Jeez. if it gets warm, the the wax obviously is gonna melt a little bit. Then when it gets cold, it gets tight. You feel me? And it goes into the weed a little bit more. So as long as if it, once it gets all once all that wax gets into the weed, and it's just weed and wax. That motherfucker gonna be candy, bro. Damn, bro. Oh, and you call them tie sticks, bro. Yeah, that's what they're called. Can- or Canagor. Bro, this is a little heavy, bro. Yeah, shit, yeah, wait, bro. Yeah. This little nigga got weight, bro. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, because you got to think it's like, 10, it's like 10 grams of flour. It's basically and a whole grams, zip in there. Uh, it's, it's a whole zip. It's a whole zip. Almost 14 of fucking That's flour, 14 of wax. Yeah. That near shit. You're going to have to roll another one now, Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> Yo, that's, I, I roll, I roll, I roll like yeah, one. I, I roll, I roll like. Hey, I have a question on that though. So you said you know how people use molds? Yeah. So when they use molds, and you, how do you mold, or how do you get it into like you know to get it to like how I get it? Yeah, like do you like? That's the secret. That's the secret. Well, I'm just okay. Yeah. That's the secret. That's the part. That's the undisclosed. In, that's the undisclosed information. That's uh, that's just a, that's just a regular paper. That's a uh, pure hemp. Yeah. Pure hemp is what I use. Yeah, yeah, it's those right there. Oh, d- yeah, just uh, and because uh, how 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 yeah, pure, that's pure, pure hemp oh. fucks with me. They usually send me a lot of packs, oh, yeah. but but I don't fuck with them because of that. I actually got at them because this is my favorite paper, and I will tell you why this is my favorite paper. One, it's my favorite paper. This is my favorite paper because it's uh, it's this side, but it's always longer this way. Like this way is always longer than every fucking paper and it sticks hella good you feel me it don't, you know how raw raw papers don't stick that good sometimes yeah, right. these like motherfuckers stick bad. every fucking time yeah. Yo, no, so this is my favorite pure hamsters oh, this is all i fuck with bro, that shit I just guys, bro. yeah he blessed the show dog hey bro you you the go for that bro all right yeah, that's man, a ble- I hey you ble- hey, i appreciate you bringing that yeah, yeah, i remember yeah. the first time i met uh five no, he he brought these fucking tie sticks bro and i was like i gotta try not only that but the green lean and shit, that shit ever since, bro, been hitting. So. And how long ago was that? Like, how long y'all bro, been friends, when I, bro? When I met him, I met him like seven years yeah, ago, like eight years ago. That shit. I remember. Uh, yeah, shit. That was like shit. When I met you, you know how I met him. He doesn't even know how I met. Him. That's not no, how I met we you. met. I met you through remember. No, was, but that's not why. No, you want to tell you how I met you, how, bro? How, how. Because this motherfucker was skateboarding, bro. He was skateboarding inside of a motherfucking uh, warehouse. Yeah, warehouse. And so, and but so, no, but that's how we met. Let me say something. That's not how we met, though. Yes, it is. Oh, bro, Roman, my boy Roman bought tree off of you, and I was with him, and I was like, "Damn, he got all these flavors." I was like, "Next time, pull up my way." He's like, "Nah." And then I see another thing. Okay, because yeah. look, so this is what happened. I, at that time in my life, I was like, "Man, you know what? It'd go crazy if I got if I motherfucking got a warehouse and put a skate park in it, because then I could cater to like." You know, people like the younger crowd, and then not only that, I could throw little concerts in there for them. I could do like all kinds of like little sh- different shit. Always oh, innovating. Like so I was thinking about doing that, and I seen him in one. So I was like, um, I'm like, hey, bro, whose whose spot is that? And he was like, oh no, it's a private, um, it's a private spot. Cause I was gonna see how much they charge a day. To get yeah, in. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Just like so yeah, get, yeah, idea, get an idea of how much people charge for that type of right, shit. But um, he was like, <laughs> it, was uh, it was a private thing. Who's whose spot was it? Was that Paul's? It was yeah, Paul, Paul Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Paul Rodriguez. And then he had hella primitive shit. And then yeah, and then and that's, that's how, and then that's what he asked. Yeah, that's what we ended up leaking, yeah. bro. And then. He ended up smoking weed, and I ended up smoking weed, dog. Yeah. That was really it. Uh-huh. Oh, and he seen that I sip lean, bro. I was sipping lean heavy too, yeah. and he was trying to get me on that green lean. Yeah, like, yeah, fuck yeah, all yeah, that yeah. shit. Put that shit down. So <laughs> I, I always have love for that too, because you know he's always looking out. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, for sure. That's why. I, that's exactly why. I, uh, another reason why I invented um, green lean because 
I remember at that time, like a lot of people was just thinking that oh, people would just be sipping lean because it's it's cool. Yeah. But a lot of them, and they, it was I knew man, that is, it was a time when I went into my partner's house and he was like, bro. I got a thousand dollars on my dresser, bro. He was like, "Man, I'm hella sick. Just go get me anything." You know what I'm saying? Go get me whatever. And then I started realizing that these motherfuckers is heroin addicts. You know what I mean? That's what heroin. That, that, that's what. Uh, that, that's what these young motherfuckers. <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all thought y'all was real cool drinking that thing, and y'all was heroin addicts, my nigga. That's the, that's a, that's a heroin high, bro. You were a heroin addict. Why do you think, I mean, when you they was filming people and people were dropping, dropping, uh, dropping, dropping. Uh, dropping uh, Place of pasta, uh, spaghetti on the ground. You gotta get the review on that shit, low key. Everybody gotta get the review on that one. That one's right there. At the first hit, I felt like I was just in a sage room. (laughs) (laughs) That shit was a different vibe. Like it has like a. And then yeah, I'll share that shit with you. smooth, bro. Yeah, okay. Hmm. That shit. Airflow. Yeah. Yo, now that we all hit it, that, what, what else? How do you feel about it? This is some shit that, like, if we was if we was just dumb hot in the forest or the jungle, how your boy was, you said, we find this shit in the lock box. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect for us. <laughs> it's perfect for us. It's like a treasure. We'll right? be hitting it and back to get out waiting for next week to hit it again. Bro. Yeah, that's, and that's the thing. That's yeah, you can turn it off. This is a like, special occasion type of it's like, it's that's why they, they're expensive. You know what I'm saying? They're like 200. Sometimes I can make them like, I can make them any price. You feel me? But you don't really want to make them too small because when you make them too small, that hole, if it's too short, it'll burn, it'll, uh, it'll, it gets hot. You know bro, the so, way you did that, bro, that shit is amazing. I feel like placing an order for my birthday, my nigga. Yeah, I got you, bro. Like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it for New Year. Hey, yo, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. This is what I tell him. <laughs> if you want to play a birthday, I'm gonna do it. That way you can just let it sit. Hey, hey, he said. He said I need it today. Hey, so what he did today is not possible, huh? Or well, you could give it to them and then they, yeah. they marinate it or what? Mm. So let me ask That's you a question. No, no, no. You already have some, like, from six months ago, a year ago? <laughs> nah, no. They, because they, they go like hella fast. Out. You feel me? They so be what going. do you have right now in stock? Uh, I probably got, like, uh, maybe, like, two that are going to be ready here in a minute. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I need that. I yeah, you know, need that. Hey, I'm going to have you roll me one for fucking New Year's and we all going to smoke that shit. Hey, yo, that was his hey, review. You can just, How do you feel about it? That's just crazy, bro. I used to try and roll those too. I'm not going to lie. Remember? When yeah, you would have, yep. But nothing like that. I was getting patient and I was just... Yeah, it's not, it's not yeah, easy to do. That's just hard. Yeah. Like, bro, I had a friend... That tried to right do that too. one time, and we he came through smoking it, and that shit was not smoking. And I didn't want to like tell him, hey, <laughs> yeah. but that shit hit. Nah, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a cigar, dog. Right? It's just like a cigar. Right, like, do you ash these or no? Bro, how you feel? Do I ash it? it? Yeah, or you just let the you smoke go. That shit, uh, like, it got a, it got a good taste. Like, like, don't, don't ash it. It's sitting for a month. It's a vibe, bro. bro. I feel it's like vibe. I can figure out any problem that occurs with that motherfucker. If I got that in my hand, bro. Five times eight. What that nigga drinks? Five times eight. Bring out a problem. Five times eight. Five times eight? Yeah. I know for sure. Fourteen, right? I'm gonna need 14 more of those. I'm gonna need 14 more of those. Well, my dice is 50. So I know that's your 65. 50 cents? No. It's 70. 5 times 8. 5 times 8. That's 40. Yeah. Bro, the first thing a nigga should do when a nigga ask him that. Hey, I even gave you the fives, bro. That's the easiest line. Hey, let me hold it. Look, let me hold it and ask me the question again. Ask me now. Twelve times thirteen. Good calculator. That should give you the answer, bro. I'm done telling you. Now that was a good answer. Come on now, I got the answer. Nah, yeah, the, uh, that motherfucker smoked. <laughs> Damn, I did one time. That shit took my lungs away. Now just think, hey, just think if we did a collab with a rosin tie stick. That's all I'm asking you. You can do rosin. Hell yeah, for let's sure. do that. Yeah, let's plug that. We gotta yeah, plug that. we did a rosin one, nigga. Yeah, we can sell that motherfucker. We can sell that shit for dinner a thousand dollars. You feel me? Yeah, hey, let's yo. do it. Hey, it takes one time hey, to do it. That shit crazy because you saw just that joint. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It'll be crazy. Shout out to brands, bro, taking it to the next level. Like for example. Uh, coffin candy when they did that drop in Halloween the way they did it in the coffin and 
they were selling each coffin oh, yeah. for like oh, a yeah, thousand. Yeah, yeah. Like, yo. Oh, because they had a hash one. Wait, wait, zip. wait. What is it called? It had a zip. Uh, uh, the Life bre- is not great. Life is not great is the brand, but uh-huh. the, it was the coffee candy flavored drop. They did a that, no, that's crazy because um, there's a brand called Planta that got some. Yeah, that's a yeah, brand. That's, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. 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 Oh, that coffee candy is that, fire, bro. Just, yeah, we smoked that on the on the. Uh, on the They're two show. different, yeah. but Planta's a different brand, but they did the same concept. Who yeah. knows Pla- Who knows the brand Planta? Planta, we don't we don't know the. Brand. I got we I got I got their it. flavors from the dispensary. Oh we just, well, we, we well, just tried um, it. the Planta that Planta brand they got some shit, bro. You yeah, really fucking with but, that coffee candy? That coffee what candy was it? The other nice, one was bro. better. The, the Cleopatra. Cleopatra. The Cleopatra's yeah. nice. That was the one. And then, there, and then the um, there's a uh, that's a what Grant was saying too. The what? A gelinade. Gelinade. Gelinade is good. Gelinade's always been one of my favorites. Just because you're the one. I don't know how to roll one of these. You're not gonna know. How do you feel about it? That's how you feel. It's amazing. You ain't gonna know. He wants to learn. You ain't learning. Oh, and then another thing is, is uh, um, uh, basically, uh, I'll 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 let you guys. But it's an undisclosed. I got an undisclosed little um, cannabis stuff being um, in the valley too. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. Twenty four. That's why I be knowing about hella um, products and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like so you had it in there, so you. Yeah, what's, yeah, yeah. What's another flavor that you're really fucking with right now? Have you tried that? Uh, my favorite uh, flavor of all time. I'm just gonna tell you right now. My favorite flavor of all time. When it's done right, and the only person that really can do it right is my brother. Uh, is uh, uh Kim Dog. Kim, Kim Dog. I love Kim Dog. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Never when it's done right, I know about but, that. But when it's done right, bro, that shit tastes. Super fresh. Sour? No, it's fresh and clean. It's and like a fresh, clean taste. And what is it? Like, what, is, it it an OG? is it an OG? Is it a... Is it a um, like, it's a sativa, damn near. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's really a sativa. But it's, like, say sour. it's almost like a sour diesel. That's what I'm saying. Sour. It's like a clean... Like, you know how sour diesel is? Yeah, it's sour. Yeah, that's yeah, what, that's yeah, what yeah, I say. Sure. I, Cam Dog, yeah, yeah. I've smoked that shit. Sour. Yeah, it's like a sour diesel, but like a cleaner sour diesel. Like cleaner. Oh, but you're talking about diesel. that old school. Like, if they grow that shit now... The only way that my brother did it, bro. Like, like all that... Grow it no more? Uh, nah, he, uh, he, nah, he be doing. He got a whole another business going on. But does he still have that cut alive? Or uh, yeah, yeah, we got, we got, yeah, yeah. got a keeper. Uh, yeah, uh, we we'll yeah. need that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, I can get a lot of old school cuts, bro. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you'd be surprised. Uh, yeah. In the Bay Area, bro, you could still That's a good go to, you could still go to some rosin. places and get good real original Back in the cuts. Day cuts. Yeah. Yeah. Pre ninety eight and shit like that. Good shit, bro. Like, cause man, cause now today is today. This is one thing that I will tell you that I see that I hate is that there's so many motherfuckers, especially in L.A. There's especially in L.A. They are the number one. This is the number one place about lying about weed, bro. They fucking make up names that's not even real, bro. It's, it's like it's the number one place. Yeah, yeah for making up names. That's a fact. Yeah. So, 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 so what I hate is this is what I hate. There, there, there's so many plant. There's so many, so much weed that's been crossed with, crossed with, crossed with, crossed with, crossed with plants that you, know, you get. Now you're starting to get weed that looks amazing, but it smokes like trash. It looks, it's so fucking dope, but then when you smoke it, it's fucking harsh. It's, it, yeah, it's just hey, you feel me? And that's what happens when you cross when you when you cross two plants that have been crossed and crossed and crossed. Way too many times. Yeah, you got no solid genetics. Yeah, you got to get right back to you got you got to come back from seed. You got to go back from seed and bring and bring like get a a old school seed. Bro, some of the dopest brands have started from bag seeds. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, you know that's so funny. That's why I hate cannabis community because they'll be like, "That what is that bag seed?" And like, what the fuck does that mean, motherfucker? Yeah, Yeah, how do you think that plants? Originated, you feel me? Like you get a they fucking seed in any kind of way. You gotta remember that. Yeah, they, they, they hate any kind of, and, they, and, it, and it always is somebody that doesn't even do nothing. Yeah, it's like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel me? I don't care. That's why. That's why I hate. You know. You know. Uh, the thing about it is. Uh, Social media killed. Social media killed the world, bro. Like, yeah, like sure. because now it's giving the people like when you were in class, it's giving the ner- the motherfucker that would never say shit a voice. And they could just say something, oh, fuck like, you, motherfucker, and hide in the corner. But well, you know damn well, well, you would never say that to me in my motherfucking face. But <laughs> that, 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 is that, it's a two-edged sword, because that's the price we pay, but the, the what we get in return is to connect with the world like this. Yeah, but so what? I almost don't even want that, because look at all these people that are getting canceled that are fucking amazing people, but now, just because stupid, these stupid people got voices, now all of a sudden you got to worry about being canceled. Which is fucking insane. Yeah, you can't even... That. They're almost making it to where comedy is like starting to get watered down because people got to watch out for what they say. Yeah, they don't you know what I'm saying? can't say much about politics. You can't politics. say shit no more, no, bro. No, the best thing to do as a comedian 
is just come out on stage and just say you're part of that LQ, uh, you know what I mean, community. Yeah, but why do I got to do that? Yeah. Just say it and then just yeah, yeah, yeah. Then fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Hey, you and then the when, you, time, when, you, when you walk up, they're going to be like, yo, you part of LQ? You'll be like, no, nope. good. Yeah. 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 Even if you lie to say, yeah, I'm part of it. You know what I'm saying? But why do I? But my whole thing is like, like, get away if you don't like my type of comedy, don't come to my show. That, you no, feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like it's real easy. Now, now, back in the day, like if the niggas are in the crowd wanted to talk shit, they'd be like, "All right, all right," like they'll kind of rough you down. But now niggas really get up and be fucking up the whole show. Well, yeah. not only that, they just <laughs> it, the main thing is that people are scared to get canceled and, and lose their livelihood. You feel me? Because that should be happening but, on the under. But what make comedy so funny is when nobody give a fuck, nigga. Like look at like, nigga like Bernie Mac. No, yeah, like, but, but, but that, but, but that was, but that was back then. Uh, he wouldn't be able to do that no more these days. You feel me? Oh. You wouldn't be able to do that. And then, and then uh, another thing that's fucked up is like with Bill Cosby. Like Bill Cosby, that was like, that's like your, uh, like that's like pops. You feel me? Yeah. And then you're gonna take him down just right. Some women from back in the day is gonna say that he did this. Why you didn't say nothing then? Nah, that's you how, know what I'm saying? How about Kelly though? There was a lot. Oh. R. Kelly? Yeah. Well, that's on tape. Yeah, he said. See, anybody can say like who? who that's that's on tape. Yeah. 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 Hey, that, he, that's filmed, on he filmed that piece. <laughs> that hey, no, was filmed. No, not just that. He would run around with his DVDs and, and his he tapes. was tripping with Aaliyah. Oh, no. he, wow. She was fifteen. Yeah, he yeah. said he was tripping. He said, he said. And my whole thing is this: this is what I don't understand, motherfucker. You're an R and B singer. Now, just fuck. If you like young bitches, just fuck with an eighteen year old bitch. Right. If you like young bitches, just fuck with right. fuck with a nineteen year old bitch. They're still young. No, Keep it legal. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like bro. shit. Keep it legal. Guys. You're yeah. you're an R and B singer. You can literally go in the crowd and be like, hey, bring me her, her, mm-hmm. and I'll take her. Nigga, and, mm-hmm. and in that time, moms was coming with their kids talking about, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Babysit my baby. Hey, nigga, Surviving Kelly. Surviving Kelly, I, I really picked that shit That's up. That's what they was talking about, like, with, yeah. uh, with yeah. Michael nigga, Jackson. Wow. Yeah. With Michael Jackson. They what? said, yeah, they were saying that. Uh, he said, one of the, uh, I don't know if you watched that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ever see the, uh, the little episode? Where uh, the little documentary and one of the dudes said uh, that yeah my mom just dropped me off over <laughs> and left me there with no phone no <laughs> nothing back in the days yeah no cell phone or nothing and they went to and the parents went to Arizona. Hey, 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 yo shout out motherfuckers the Dominicans yeah, I told you the phone was gonna get to us the Dominicans no, we about to eat. if you hungry man make sure to order from the best yeah. chef in Hollywood yeah. Chef Cruz the Dominicans my boy is gonna bring the food to you freshly made. Freshly plated, up. all that. Yeah. Yo, you trying to show the the, the the camera a plate? You know what I mean? Just so they see what they, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, but um, so what, what, what are you talking about, gang? Uh, what, 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 talking about uh, Michael Jackson and oh, you people leaving their kids with people for no reason. <laughs> and that bum ass motherfucking hey, thing, bro. Right, just, <laughs> bro, this is this is out of here. Yo, Cruz, you gotta try this, bro. Oh yeah, go ahead. Oh, you this, gotta man. try this, bro. Hey, we lie. We lie. What do you think it is? He said, "Woo!" Is it? What the fuck is it? It's a tie. It's tie. It's a tie. It's a canagar. How you say that in Spanish? Canagar. Canagar. Yeah. 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 Hey, he said, can I go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it takes like two hours, he said. Yeah, so and no, anyway. How much weed is in it? Ask him. How much weed is in it? There's like uh, 10 grams of flour and like 13 grams of wax. That's Different crazy. waxes, though, too. Uh, that shit's smoking, dude. Shit, I pop the plate. Show the camera the plate, man. Hands, you know, oh, my God. That's love. You see what I'm saying? That's my brother, man. My, 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 I can't wait to eat this food. I'm so hungry. 100%. Uh, no, pull up. Yeah, pull up. Pull up. Wait, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Real quick, we're going to take a quick Dominican break. Uh, we'll be right back on the podcast. Give us one second. Bow. Yo, uh, how was the Dominican food? Fuck you, that shit was fire. That shit was good. Shout out, shout out to your boy Cruz. On a scale from 1 to 10, what you think? I give it an 8. Okay, okay. Yeah, I give it a solid 8. I give it a solid 8. Just to give room. I'm a taco guy. What you say, you're a taco guy? I'm Mexican, I'm a Dominicano, that shit was really good. I'm a taco guy. But if you just had some fucking tortillas so you could put them in. Come on, bro, you know. I'm just to that bro. Rolling it up. Get back to the tacos. You feel me? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Those sliced bananas were fire. Yeah. 
I like the bananas the with the tags. rice, bro. Shit's gas. Hell yeah. Good. So what Very you rolling good, up bro. right now, right here, brother? Okay, so now I'm about to roll up this uh, this hash hole joint. But what, but what kind of weed is this? I don't know. This is the weed grown by Big Juice Cup, bro. So tell us a little about this strain or how long you've been growing it. Yeah, or... I've been charged a lot of uh, my first run doing it. So pretty, pretty much just a candy cut. It's just a good candy yeah, it's a cut. Good candy and shit. Smoking. And uh, right now, what are you working on? What are you growing? Pretty rosin in that shit. Um, bubble right. gum. I got some bubble gum runs coming up, and um, black cherry soda. Mm. Yeah, black cherry does in the future. It's already. This is already. Some Zeke, oh yeah, the skittles. The skittles. Yeah, that, boy? it's coming. It's coming. Don't worry. Some so good skittles. He wants to go. So we can watch it. Yeah, this shit. Hey, this shit. Hey, this shit. We took a break, and this shit is still lit. Shit's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's. Oh, the mummy like, finger? Yeah. The yeah. return yeah. of the oh, mummy finger. finger. Bro, we ate it. Eric did this just like waited for us. It was like, you, you guys ready to smoke? Yeah. I'm still tripping how you. It's, that's a five month thing, bro. That shit. Oh. It took five months to put that together. I'm still tripping off that. Yeah. It is. Bro. I can't that's see nice. myself rolling smoke. something so sexy and walking away. Shout like, out to first shut. week. Oh, first smoke. You just gotta put it. I put it up and just fucking don't even think about it. You feel <laughs> me? So once I put it up and you know what I'm saying, I could be having so. You, you, de- you yeah, definitely, so you. God, you definitely smoke one. Yeah. After right, you like. Oh yeah, for sure. He yeah. put the whole G in there. That's fire. I think it's the way that you package it that helps you like conserve it. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta fuck with that shit. And you can't just smoke it. You don't want to just smoke it by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like long ass, ass rope. Bro, it looked like it was some, and it some money. Too. That Definitely. shit crazy, bro. Yo, gang. So, um, uh, what's the first time you smoked some weed, man? How, how you get into uh, this crazy uh, story? Uh, probably like in fifth grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My older brother, he smoked me out with his homies just like laughing at it, like, oh, he's about to be high and shit, you know? <laughs> hey, you know that's child abuse. So let my kid go. Fuck it. Hey, you know, I'm very fucking. I don't think it's. I ain't gonna snitch on my brother, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you, you liked it though, right? I mean. Hey, you like hey, it, hey, it hey, 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 <laughs> like someone said, like, you got molested, but you liked it, right? You still liked it. Hey, you liked it. You, you didn't smoke it today. He's fucking in fifth grade. He's fifth grade. He's like fucking six no, years I old. I started smoking until like, <laughs> every day until like eighth grade probably. Eighth grade probably I started smoking every day. So it became a problem for you. <laughs> so, so this is more of an intervention. You know, started making bread in, at a young age and shit, you know, hustling. Like it teaches you how to hustle and shit. Nah, hell yeah. We were always at the skate parks everywhere, like me and this old people running it up as much as we could. That's hard. And then you also used to be at the Supreme Lines and shit, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Down here, right here. Hey, talk a little bit about that Supreme Jug lifestyle, gang. Okay? That show is crazy, bro. It, it's not around no more, huh? You kind well, of. You, hey, what year, what, what year was this? It's like all corporate. Mm. But what year is this? What year was the... 2016, 2016. 2016 to like 2018, 2019, then they started it was, shit. It was real out there, huh? The but Fairfax. Full been doing that shit, like homie Jordy, he been doing it for a minute, like even before that. And his brother, yeah. Yeah, stay blazing and all that. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, no, that camping out for Supreme Gear, that's always been a culture out here in LA, especially for yeah. a minute, bro. And... um. I, 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 I remember times pulling up on, 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 on VZ because yeah. the nigga, like, he's yeah. like, I'm like, bro, you haven't ate all day. He's like, nah, nigga, this shit about to drop, though. <laughs> I'm like, I'm oh, shit. Coming to think of it, those were like the first days when I started smoking, too. Because, like, yeah, I remember yeah. Nesta would have this one plug, Raul, and then that was just bored for, like, long. He'll have these ounces Gorilla Glue at, like, 120, and then he'll bring them in the little drawer with the light on it. <laughs> Pull up in the Camaro, just drifting on the block. I'm like, oh, shit. This nigga is hot as fuck, nigga, fuck it. And so I started, bad, bro, after that, that's when I really started smoking every day. First time was when I was like 13 <laughs> with a cousin of mine off a pipe, and then I was like, man, this is all right. One time after school, too, my mom picked me up. She didn't notice I was hot. But yeah, bro, Supreme Day is dumb lit. <laughs> so, uh, is that how you guys met from doing the Supreme? Yeah, nah, we met through my sister. I met him uh, the Supreme, yeah. though, for sure. Oh, okay. Hell yeah, yeah man, yeah. this is my bro, but this was a minute ago, too. Me and him are finessing, it, running it up, because at one point it was hey, the same people cr- every week, so we just had to dial in. Hey, it's crazy, too, because like, they, run, they didn't yeah. even try to link up today. They just ended up like, oh, shit, they, that's you. That's Not crazy. Like, but even the security is new, like, these are in the front. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, they're just, oh, people shit. People were trying to beat the deal. Like, like, I was nah. going up the block, I saw the green phone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's your uh, brother. That's a homie. And I was just thinking about some weed. I'm like, yo, 
why did I just got to Cali and the homie gave me some weed for free? And it's like, man, I just gave that shit away for free. And it's like, that's free weed, you feel me? No, I'm not doing that. And then after that, I see the blue Tesla. I'm like, yeah. Let's get some weed. <laughs> <laughs> we got high today. <laughs> hey, now, hey, hey, your car to it. Anytime you say, like, yup, there go Nesto. Hey, I got a question. There go Nesto. What do you guys think about MJK's verse on this? On this uh, I haven't even heard this song. Have you, ever, you haven't heard it? I haven't even heard it yet. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. He kind of came off kind of clean on this uh, track. <laughs> What's the name of the track? It's with PZ? It's him and T Grizzly. Oh, T Grizzly's new album. I gotta listen to that. I definitely gotta listen to that. Look, turn. Who, Yo, got so, some, uh, who got some chips? Hey, just, just, let, let, hey oh, Robert, well, how about your first time smoking? We're going to let Robert say his... Uh, Robert, give him a tip real quick. Oh, what? Yeah, what yeah, kind of tips uh, you got? Yeah. We got to get so Robert's first time smoking. This shit like a cigar, <laughs> though, no cup. Yeah. I know, pass that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Oh, Hey, hey, let us know about your first time smoking. We passed that. I need my, to find my, out. Mike was like Zach's kind of, you know. My cousin smoked me out in like fifth grade, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't start smoking in fifth grade. That was just like my first time getting high. Yeah, yeah. I remember we were at my tia's house. Bro, Shout out to the Tia, bro. bro. Shout out to the Tia. I thought I was like in a fucking cartoon, bro. No, I was tripping the fuck out. Little then little the munchies hit. Cool I was lit, bro. I was lit, but you yeah, like six, seventh grade, yeah, yeah, just like smoking. But <laughs> I never had something like this, bro. I was like, I do the, I do the donuts with like rosin and some weed, you know, like what, what, what he's doing right now. Yeah, bro, that shit. And then this is like a, like a Cuban cigar, bro. Like you just hold it. Perfect, bro. I, I like this. Just yeah, bro. Bamboo sticks. That's gonna be the the title of this episode, bro. Episode eight, bamboo sticks. Yeah, rolled by tree guard really too. With tree guard, rolled by tree guard, cause yeah, bro. Well, this is that's that, that's that phenomenal roll right there. Uh-huh. But you know, how long, hey, uh, hey, uh, tree guard? How long have you been uh, r- like rolling like? As Pretty far as shit. like the, yeah this yeah bro like because uh, I know you started off just with tree yeah but I'm saying as far as like throwing like what you've been doing those tie sticks and uh shit I've probably been rolling crazy shit like this right, that's the only way I smoke yeah <laughs> I, I've been <laughs> smoking you know, you know what I stopped smoking I stopped smoking blunts a long time ago I used to I stopped smoking blunts when I was smoking uh, I stopped, switchers I stopped for a while I but I ain't smoked I ain't smoked a um a blunt in, like bro like shit. 15, 20 years, bro. Damn you straight bro. Taylor gang, right? Straight flights, yeah. Flight, 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 flight. It's a jet. Yeah, that's all wow, I'm tripping out how you're rolling this one. Did you use two papers on that? Yeah. You used two that filters on this one. Yeah. Two filters, too? That's right there. Oh. No, there's three filters on this one. Oh, three filters. Three. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> that's wow. going to be a movie. <laughs> okay, speaking of that, I got a good question for everybody. Yes, sir. What's your What's your favorite? I always kind of incorporate this somehow because it kind of tells you a personality too. All so, right. what's your favorite weed smoking movie? Your favorite spree, oh. weed smoking movie? I Start with uh, you. I already know mine. Me too. <laughs> Pineapple Express. Pineapple Express. Okay. What about you? How high? Uh-huh. Oh, I, I, yeah, I was going to say how high, but I feel like Mac and Dale go to high school. That's funny. Yeah, but I see the little joint and the little Yeah, that shit was cool, but not the second one. So, that's bro. Yeah, that's cool. Now we did all these movies, even if it's not a smoking movie, it's a smoking movie. Yeah, for sure. I can watch Scarface and it's still a smoking movie. But I'm talking about a weed smoking movie that, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what we You just want weed in it. <laughs> now, I'm talking about a weed smoking movie. You know, but you pick you pick yours. Okay, so what's yours? Mine's that one. I forget what it's called, but the one with Dave Chappelle. Oh, half baked, half baked, half baked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, he goes, where he goes, fuck you, fuck yeah, 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 you. Yeah, you're cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. Right. Right. What about you? I think how high too. Like uh, the first one though, the first one. Met them how high is pretty dope too. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, no, he said there's not. only one. How high? <laughs> <laughs> he said <laughs> Pineapple <laughs> Express. No, there's yeah, two. That's just trash. There's two. I think the there's second one was trash. There's a two one. Was it Method the Man though? Right? No, it was Lil Yachty. It was Lil Yachty. Yeah, Lil Yachty was in it. Yeah, it don't count. He said it don't count on me. Yeah, DC Five, was it? I like the one with Cypress Hill, Method Man, Red Man, yeah. 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 original shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the one. Which one were you gonna say though? We... Mine, mine is, uh, yeah, well, mine is. This is the end. This is the uh, end. Yeah, I know. That's I've seen that one. Oh, that's that new one. one. Um, it's kind of newer, but it's, it's, it's a newer than I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but no, but nobody said Friday. You know what I'm saying? That's but, a classic. Yeah, that is well, a classic. Friday, dog, is some like no. That's why I'm saying classic. Friday as a like that's, a, that, that's in my top five for sure, bro. But 
Nothing like how high. Nah, how yeah. high is top Just two, top smoking. three for me? Yeah, yeah, you know? One thing about how high is I smoke, I smoke with Red Man hella times. For real? Yeah. That's, one, that's probably like, uh, he's probably like one of the biggest like um, weed smoking celebrities that I've ever smoked with. It's probably Red Man. Who else? I smoke? He's dope, dope to smoke with. Things I smoke with Too Short for sure. Um, who else have I smoked with that's uh, big like that? You know what? Yeah, I didn't like Method Man. Mm. Method Man was like the funny style. Oh, yeah, that, he was mad because we had shirt, we used to have shirts that said, uh, "If your bitch ain't hoeing, she better be growing." And he was like, "I got a, I got daughters, man. I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with that." Well, he was like, mm, "Calm down, man." But, uh, he was on that. Yeah, he was he was like acting funny style about the shirts. Hey, man. But uh, but not bad. But Red Man, he cool as a motherfucker. We been, I, we know Red Man for a minute because. Uh, one of our homeboys, he's from New Jersey. He looked just like Big Pun, but he was like one of the first people that used to mm-hmm. paint shoes back in the days. Remember when people was painting shoes? Yeah, yeah. My boy Sean Flores was doing that. He got popping off of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So back in the days, he was doing that, and so he was doing all of all them food shoes, and then uh, that's how we ended up hooking up with Red Man and all that. Yo, right, we get, we get what's some this. what's some advice you got for some niggas that's like young hustlers that you know anybody that thinks of an idea and wants to put action behind it, like? I think, uh, I, I think they could really learn a couple things from you, especially like you got comedy shows, you got brands, you got TAC Lean, you t- 10, 20 years ahead of the game, bro. Even uh, us, we could probably learn a thing or two. You know what? I would say, nigga, fuck, uh, who cares what everybody else thinks? Yeah. Who cares what everybody else thinks? Don't care about what nobody else thinks. Don't care about what the next man thinks. Just do you. And just do you. And whatever makes you happy, this is my whole thing. At the end of the day, the main motto of my life is to create my own oasis. Create your own oasis. You don't have to be. We don't have to be the richest people in the world to have, to be the richest person in your in, in your world. You feel me? As long as you got everything that you love at your at your at your home or where you rest your head, you got all the amenities, everything that you like. You know what I'm saying? Just create your own oasis. You feel me? And, and you're gonna win in the win, in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Respect that. Respect that, man. How about in this evolving, changing weed game, bro? What advice? You got some ups for like young growers or young hustlers that are trying to put their brands together that still feel that like their voices count, but we're kind of getting lost in the big co- corporate. Yeah, fight. yeah, for sure. Oh, this is the thing. This and this is the one thing that we do know, and that um, if you're a real, a real like motherfucker in this game, and are like, and you really have a good product, and you actually are good at your craft, just do keep on doing what you're doing because this is the thing. You could tell which companies are just invested companies where people that don't even smoke weed just invest in these companies as opposed to somebody that really knows what they're doing and is putting that product out there. We're going to shine. Then people are going to shine harder in the end because all them people that just invest in companies and don't even smoke weed, that shit don't last. Motherfuckers don't want that shit when they go to the cannabis club and just stick hard to your grind right now because in a minute it's going to be a couple, there's going to be some more loopholes that people are going to, people are going to, there's going to be more loopholes to where people who can get their their um, companies into into cannabis clubs? You feel me? Just you know, what I'm saying, just stay to the grind. And one thing that I did that I wanted, I was like, man, you know what? I need to get my um, my my hot sauce in the stores. Man, go fuck with a cannabis club. Go fuck with a cannabis club. And if you got a real a real game about you, they're gonna see it, and they're and somebody's gonna be like, hey, man, come on, you got a good ideas. We gonna help you. And yo, you know what's, I mean? what's a cannabis club? What is that like? Like you know, a dispensary. Oh, like right. yeah. yeah. You got, sometimes you you know what? Sometimes this is what I always say to people. Sometimes you gotta play the game to change the game. You feel me? Ooh, that's a good yeah, you gotta play the game to change the game. So that's you know why I felt today. When that's I why I, I, that's why I was like, man, let me go into this cannabis club and I'm gonna figure out my I'm gonna figure out how to get my hot sauce into these stores. You feel me? And it all came true. And I met the right people, the right people that's gonna help me get the make it happen. And, and that's what I did. And that's what's happening now. So, Damn. Talk yeah. about, about the hot sauce. Mm-hmm. You what flavors you got? You got barbecue. You got hot. Uh, so so um, so this is the thing. Okay, so you see when you hit this now, where you it's feel hot. it, you got hot. So that's what I'm saying. That's why when you can't make them super small because then it'll be hot like that. Ah. So now when you hit this, you don't. You're not gonna. You're not gonna pull it like you're hitting a joint. Yeah, you're gonna puff it like you're, like, you're a cigar. Uh, like a cigar. So you just. Oh, shit, yeah. 
and get it going. And once you get it going, the air bubbles just go. It's there. No, that's what I did. I naturally did that because it reminded yeah. me of cigar. Uh-huh. I'm like, ooh, yeah, bitch, acting up. Huh? Acting up. I felt that shit too. How to, you know, get control of that. But see how, how good it tastes now, too? It's really good. No, it's it really starts tasting good. better now, right it, now, too. It's, 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 now. it's enjoyable from the beginning to the end. It's an yeah. experience. Like, yeah. it's something you give to somebody on, like, their birthday uh-huh. or, 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 like, hey, my nigga, I, I appreciate you here, nigga. Yeah, it's it's yeah. one of those, bro. Like, yeah. if a nigga gave me that, and he's like, I'll be like, for me? <laughs> don't be a menace, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another good one. Hey, don't be a menace. No sleep. That's a top five. Yeah, it's unfair to ask a nigga what's your favorite high movie, bro. That's yeah, so unfair. So many, bro, right? There's so many, bro. Yeah, yeah, you guys asking that? What's your top ten, nigga? Top five. Nah, what's your favorite? Nah, no, that's true. The one that you want to be stuck on an island yeah. with. How high? You stuck on an island, you go get one one high movie. Ha ha. See, and not just that. How high? I could close my eyes. I literally, the movie, I could start watching it. Mm-hmm. Start falling mm-hmm. the asleep. Yeah. yeah. They change the channel. Hey, don't change that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm saying even right now, if I close my eyes, the movie starts. It's my, okay, it's what's my okay, okay, okay. Here, this is a, this, <laughs> this is a good I thing. Did. This is a good thing for starters because we are always like trying to watch a movie. Everybody's always when you go home, you want to watch something yeah, with your eye. Yeah. Okay, so what's a movie that's hella good that you think that a lot of people may not have seen? Okay, damn, there's a lot of there's a lot of those right now. And even me, when I run across like, them, it's oh, like, damn, how did I find this shit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd be yeah, like, yeah, that. Something like that. Some streaming ass shit, like, when this come out? And then, I got a good, ain't there I got, I got a good movie for all y'all to see that I know none of y'all have seen this movie, for sure. Which one? It's called The Licks. The by, Licks? It's called The Licks, and it's uh, made by um, these uh, people in... Uh, it, it's basically based on a story about um, Oakland, California, and, and it's a Bay Area movie. But it's actually a movie that was done good. Man, if you're um, in the Encino area or in the Valley, Friday, November 10th, come through to CP's Workout Friday, 420 Friendly Workout Friday. It's a comedy event that I throw, uh, 420 Friendly. You can smoke, you can eat, uh, you can drink, you can smoke hookah if you don't smoke weed. Watch some comedy, man. It's, all the comedians are funny as fuck. Uh, all handpicked by me, man. Slide through. Come fuck with us, man. It's going to be a lot of people out there. It's good networking and uh, good yeah. people. You feel me? Yeah. Shit, let's close this shit out, man. Any last shout outs? Yeah, whoever wants to show Man, you. I want to shout out the podcast. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, man, yeah, I fuck with y'all, man. You know what Thanks for having me on. For real, for real. Hey, hey, shout, out to, shout out to Pressure. Shout out to 1873 Flower. Yep. Uh, shout out to Loud Smoke Bacon, man. You feel me? Shout out to Ham, uh, Pure Hams. Oh, shit. Shout, shout out, out to the Dominican. Shout out to the Dominican. Shout out to, out to, Dominican food. Food. Yeah, food. Yeah, shout out to everybody here, man. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, shout, shout out to the pulling up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but real shit, shout out to this right here. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> shout out to this, bro, 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 bro. Hey, That's a big shout out. You know, yeah, yeah, smoking this shit really came smoking. He didn't. Uh, yeah, so this shit, t- I don't know what to tell y'all. This shit's We're gonna be here for a minute. We'll, even though we're closing the show, this shit. <laughs> <is> just, <laughs> no, this no, shit no, we no, smoke. Closing the show, we ain't closing yes, that. Sir. All right. We out. <laughs>